everybody has interests. Everybody has some drive to do something. But the way the mind is constituted, at least from a psychoanalytic, psychodynamic point of view, we all have aggressive drives. They were necessary to survive as the world developed, you know, in terms of evolution. If you uh, couldn't be aggressive, uh, somebody would eat you up. But what to do with them? What to do with one's aggression when we're all supposed to be polite and civil? Not that we all are. Uh, in the course of the development of the individual, they take in rules. Uh, it's what in psychoanalysis we call superego development. And the first stage of superego development is harsh and punitive. Don't do that. You'll get punished if you do that. So the sense of right and wrong is all about aggressive responses. Later on, hopefully, one's sense of right and wrong and morality enters into a phase where you're identifying with a system of values that's harmonious and has positive aspiring to good values and not just fear of punishment. But it seems that people with narcissistic personality tend to be stuck just having those negative reactions. Um, so nobody is truly empty, but imagine you're a little kid and then a you know, grade school kid and then a high school kid and college kid and an adult. And every time you begin to do something, suppose you're interested in tennis or the piano or writing. If every time you begin to do something, automatically, without your awareness and without your control, some part of your brain says, that's stupid, that's bad, what garbage, then you stop trying because there's something in you that destroys your own efforts. So that's the connection between aggression and emptiness. The aggression attacks what would be the seeds that could grow into a full-blown person with their interests and their accomplishments. But if there's an attack on any first step you take, you wind up empty.